We just two days left for the district council elections in Tripura. Today I'll be traveling with the Tripura chairman, Mr. Pradyut Kishore Dev Burman, to one of those constituencies where he will be campaigning. We'll travel today across, and in between I'll be asking him some key questions which will play a crucial role in these TTADC elections. <music> Just two days left for the TTDC elections. You have been campaigning for your party, Tipra Motha. And today we are traveling to one of those areas where you will seek a uh, vote for your candidate. How do you see the present scenario where Tipra is fighting against so many parties, including the BGP, IPFT, Congress, CPI? I think we'll win because we have truth on our side. We have worked hard and we are speaking for the people. Uh, the BJP and the IPFT may have the administration, they may have all the money, they may have all the firepower, but I think our real agenda is something that nobody is speaking for. For 70 years, the indigenous people of our state have suffered and we want to give them a solution, not an ongoing process where there is a stalemate. Regarding Congress, uh, Congress is not in the field. Congress will uh, be there just to split our votes and help maybe the Communist Party. The Communist Party, uh, which has ruled uh, 15 years uh, in the TTADC, will have a very difficult time even getting 10% votes. Right. So, when we speak about the TTADC, I think this is for the first time when we are seeing multi-corner contests in the ADC elections. It is because for decades and decades, all regional parties align themselves with national parties. Mm -hmm. This is for the first time that regional parties have actually made an alliance with themselves and are taking on the national party. So obviously we'll have a multi corner contest and let me tell you that the regional parties will prevail in vote share, in seats and in numbers when the results come out. Also one thing that we have seen in the list of candidates that uh, Tipra has released, the youths have been given importance. Why so? That's because you have a young chairman yourself and uh, we have not only given chances to youth, uh, we have got almost 45% uh, of the candidates who are below the age of uh, 35. And uh, you also have educated people, you have people who have been engineers, you have people who have been professionals, advocates. So we have given people with a clean image and none of them have come through recommendation. 95% uh, of the candidates chosen are fresh and uh, none of them have any uh, 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 you know legacies political legacy except for me to uh, speak about they don't have mothers or fathers in the political party and they've come up because of their hard work so we wanted to give young professionals with clean image who are not necessarily seen as political uh, uh, entities a chance because i think that's how the young people will connect with them one thing that we have been hearing from all the political parties uh, since you started uh, Tipra, you had said that you will not join politics anymore, but why did you decide again to form your party? Because we are not fighting only an election. Mm -hmm. We are fighting for a movement of greater Tipra land. Mm -hmm. This is a movement and politics is something which is a career. I don't, I'm not a career politician. I don't want to end up being a politi MLA for 20 years or 15 years without bringing in solution to my people. And our solution is bigger than what many people may realize it or may, which many national political parties may not admit it. We want greater Tipra land. We want a finality to the injustices which the indigenous people have gone through over the last 70 years. And the only solution can be a complete solution, not from Agartala, not from the capital of Tripura, but from New Delhi. Right. So when you say that recently in a political rally, you said you're not with the left, you're not with the right, but you're at the center. So when you say you are at the center, what do you mean by that? If AIA DMK comes to power, we'll talk to them for a greater Tripura land. If Trinamool Congress comes, we'll talk to them. If Ahmadmi Party comes, we'll talk to them. If BJP comes, we'll talk to them. If Congress uh, returns back to power, we'll talk to them. If uh, Bahujan Samaj Party comes to centre, we will talk to them. We want a solution to our people's problem. We are not interested in fighting other parties' battles, personal scores. We are in the centre. I am not left because we have fought the communists all our life. I don't believe in certain ideologies of the BJP. 
which excludes religion which uses religion as a tool to come to power so i am in the center and there has to be a third option why should everything be hijacked by two parties right so one thing that uh, the present congress president and the in charge of congress who recently visited tripura he said that why doesn't the tripura chairman clears its stand on bjp what i have cleared my stance on bjp who's fighting the supreme court case in uh, against ca who's fighting it i am fighting it why didn't the congress protest against ca in uh, in uh, tripura i was the one who led the protest why was the congress silent when it was protesting everywhere including assam why was it silent in tripura it's vote bank politics where was the congress when the brews in kanchanpur were uh, being denied by this state government which is bjp to settle down they were silent in fact they wanted them to return back i was on fighting congress is devoid of thinking my if i have to talk to anyone in the congress i will not talk to small time leaders i will talk directly to rahul gandhi or sonia gandhi but not to small time leaders right one thing that we have seen that uh, the opposition parties and the ruling bjp ipft they have been uh, attacking on the tipra chairman on the party they have been saying that why the tipra chairman is now silent on caa on nrc they have been saying that you have not spoken a single word of caa in your political rallies well you have been in my political rallies in every political rally i have spoken about caa right so i think for now and let me tell you one thing i will not finish my struggle until i don't get caa removed from tripura right that is my challenge and i have taken it to supreme court and i will fight and i want ca completely eradicated from tripura ca cannot be put in tripura that is fundamental that is very clear it is a congress which does not speak about ca in tripura right so we'll continue uh, with the interview as uh, now we are reaching the maharaja bir bikram airport also when i say about the maharaja bir bikram airport it was bjp i50 government which uh, renamed the agartala airport on your great grandfather's name what is so that not great grandfather grandfather, grandfather yeah, yeah. Yeah well I thank them for that but for me real achievement will come when we don't only have an airport named after my grandfather but a indigenous or a, a or a not even an indigenous someone from Tripura who becomes a pilot that is a real achievement the aim is to uplift a community to bring in a sense of pride so I'm very happy that the airport is named after Maharaja Bir Bikram I'll be even happier if one day we have our own person as a pilot in uh, an aircraft flying that would be a real sense of achievement as well thank you so we'll continue with the interview when we reach the mbb airport agartala
are going to have a lot of problems with social, cultural, ethnic and identity. Hence, I want the government of India to give us a permanent solution and not an ongoing negotiation. I want a permanent solution. And that's why I said our movement is more a movement than a political uh, fight. Because we want solution. We don't want this issue to drag on and on because the next generation is going to suffer very badly. We have heard political leaders, including the Prime Minister, when the election comes, they come to the state, they make several promises. In 2018, some of the promises were made. In the last three years, do you think all the promises that were made by the central leadership have been fulfilled? Well, uh, their own minister, when he had the Joint Alliance meeting, Kevar Damandia, said he's not happy with the uh, progress of the government. So, what more can I say? I mean, uh, members from the own government are saying it. For me, all I want to say is that one should not promise something which cannot be delivered. Or at least in terms of financial gain to gain. The government can do a lot more if it starts listening to the people. Just because I am in the opposition does not mean I don't want the state to do well. There are several issues that need to be addressed in the ADC. If I ask you about my such issues, what are those? Administration, accountability, education, health and connectivity. So you say about health and connectivity. We know 68% and about 68% of the geographical area is under the ADC. And it was then that Congress government which took the demand and the DDC was formed. But in the last several years, we have seen that the ADC has not received as much as it was promised. Where was the loophole? Was it due to the influence of the center or due to the state government? Congress government did not give to the ADC, the government of India gave us to the ADC. The government of India gave ADCs to Mizoram, Meghalaya, parts of Bodhiland, across the Manipur. So it's not that they have done any special favor for us. Second, I think ABCs, until they do not come, they do not get direct funding, will be irrelevant because they are just an employment generation agency. Hence, we want real accountability, real transparency. And what has happened in the name of ABC is an eyewash. That's why every ABC across the Northeast, including even uh, uh, the territorial council of Thailand, are demanding a separate state because those people, the ABC, are not succeeded in this original way of bringing in real power to the indigenous people. When we speak about the ABC area, we heard, we often hear that they don't get the health facility. We have GBP hospital that is in Agartala. All the district hospitals are in the towns. But the remote areas, which doesn't have road, which doesn't have electricity, what will people do to provide to the health facility in those areas? We are coming up with a white paper on health, education, sanitation, connectivity. Once our white paper comes out, we will be presenting it to the media and to the public because we want it to be in the public domain. It is one thing saying something before election, one thing saying it after election. Hence, the, the necessity of the hour is to come up with a white paper and present the facts in front of the people and how we intend to tackle it. आपका धंचा का डे होगा। Six of April is the day of unity for the process, and as long as I am alive, I will keep on fighting for all of you. बनाए बनाए नवंबर। आप लोग को सबको एक मैसेज गुमाकर देने आया है। आपका वोट लेके ये लोग आराम से अगर तला में बैठा हुआ है।
forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.